These royal recruits are so good. In fact, as of now, they might even seem somewhat overpowered. But first, you have to unlock them in the draft challenge. So today, I present to you 5 tips to dominate in the royal recruits draft challenge. Hey guys, it's right here, and today I'm going to be giving you 5 tips that I use to get 12 wins in the Royal Recruits Draft Challenge and unlock the brand new card. These recruits are so much fun to use, and I bet you can't wait to get your hands on them. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the tips. Number 1. Always pick the recruits. Man, these cards are good at least in the challenge they are. They offer so much value on defense and provide double lane pressure on offense, something players find very hard to deal with. Their damage isn't too high, but it makes up for it in hit points, and it seems to have a place in a wide variety of decks. Now of course, use your common sense. If the recruits really don't make sense, you gotta pass them up, but they sure are annoying to face. Number two, make sure your opponents don't have counters to your deck. When drafting, make sure you don't give your opponents counters to your card. For example, in this match, I drafted the Barrel, Rascals, and the Goblin Gang and then proceeded to accidentally give my opponent the Log. I still managed to win the battle, but it was much, much harder. So when you are drafting, make sure to take up at least most of the 30 seconds thinking through your card choices. A tiny bit of draft is luck, so you want to make sure to maximize your drafting for the best possible position. Number 3. Try and predict which cards your opponents have by the draft. This comes into play during the game. As you know, there are certain cards that are paired in a draft. For example, Lightning is often paired with Rocket, Giant is often paired with Royal Giant, and Snowball is paired with Zap or Arrows. So when in a battle, be sure to keep those pairs in mind so you can make predictions on what cards your opponent has so they can't catch you off guard as easily. Number 4. Save Counters This tip is pretty self-explanatory, but is even more important in draft, when decks are super wacky and oftentimes you find yourself with one counter to a certain card. Make sure you save that counter. In this match, for example, my opponent used his only balloon counter, Ice Wizard, to defend my giant minions push and I punished that immediately by going opposite lane with a balloon and getting almost 2000 damage in a single push. Number 5. Try and draft as well rounded as possible. This also falls in with the common sense part. When drafting, try and make a mini deck, I guess, out of your 4 cards. Most of the deck building fundamentals do apply. Make sure you have air counters, splash is super valuable, always try and get at least one kill card. Synergies are nice, but you know, you don't always get them. So there we go, 5 tips to help you maximize your chances to win in the Royal Recruits Draft Challenge. Of course, after implementing these tips, your fate still lies somewhat in your opponent's draft, as a tiny bit of draft is luck based. Undeniably, if you get easy drafts, you can pretty easily get the 12 win and if you're unlucky, well then you're gonna have to play a few more games. Now of course, you don't need to get the 12 win, as at 8 wins you unlock these new cards already and can collect them in chests and level them up. I hope you guys find success in this challenge as these recruits are really really fun to play. Sorry I'm not going to be showcasing my 12 win gameplay as a ton of other YouTubers have already showcased theirs and I'm sure you just want the bare bones of winning in draft compiled in a super quick video. But unfortunately guys that is all the time for in today's video if you enjoyed please do like down below as well as a subscription to my channel and as always this is Legend of Rain and I'm signing off see you guys next time.